Well, hey, Daily Dosers, Chris here. Probably the most unusual place we've ever shot a Daily Dose. I'm actually floating in the Dead Sea. See those mountains over there? That's Jordan. See those mountains over there? That's Israel. See those people floating over there? Yeah, those are other North Coasters. See the mud on my face? That's expensive stuff that most of you have to buy in bags just for make your face all smooth and all kinds of chemicals. It's just the stuff that's underneath me here in the Dead Sea. So why are we floating out here? Why does it take absolutely no effort for a guy like me to actually sit on top of the water? Well, because this is the lowest place on earth. This is right now, I'm at uh, 1,300 feet below sea level. So what's going on above me here? We have the Jordan River that flows in the Sea of Galilee, out of the Sea of Galilee, the Jordan River, and then it flows into here. This great rift valley with mountains on that side and mountains on that side, all the water flows from all the nations up there down to here. And then it doesn't go anywhere. It just evaporates in this hot desert sun. It sucks water out constantly, but all the chemicals stay here. So even though this is such a gorgeous place, absolutely nothing lives in these water. Our salt water back home has about 3% salt in it. The water here, 34% salt. That's why I can sit on top of the water with absolutely no effort at all and talk to you guys back home. So I'm not reading scripture out here because I didn't want to bring my Bible. What I did want to talk to you guys about is simply don't become the Dead Sea. That's right. Don't become a body of water like this. A body of water that looks good and you can get mud from it and put it on your face and put it on your body. But absolutely nothing lives in this body of water. Fresh water, flowing water, all comes from upstream. But because nothing flows out of here, because it's the lowest place on earth, it's stagnant. It's absolutely dead. It's an incredible picture, if you will, for the Christian life. We can't be poured into and poured into and poured into without being poured out in some way, shape, form, or fashion. A Christian is not meant to be a person. We weren't created to be people who go to church or who listen to daily doses, who have any sort of Bible in our life without it being poured out, without a place to serve, without a place to give back. And so this daily dose, only about half the time what we usually share, I just wanted to challenge all of you. Don't become an absolutely beautiful person that has no life inside. Don't become someone that is poured into, that listens to daily doses without having a place to be poured out. My challenge for all of us today, where are you serving? Who are you pouring into? Who are you praying for? Whatever God's grace and mercy has given to you, whatever he's done in your life, where are you passing that on? See that, then you become just another part of the stream of the Spirit of God. When we are being poured out of, we can become a place of life and life giving and having life around us. But if we're someone who's just being poured into and we're not being poured out in any way, well, what a great picture. What a beautiful body of water that is absolutely dead. Huh. Daily Dose from the Dead Sea. Hope it encouraged and challenged you today.